So this whole idea of looking at your followers uh, in order to be a, a, a really effective leader and a, a true leader. And Joyce does such a great job of uh, conveying that message and really modeling it. Uh, in my mind, she's been so helpful in, in what we've done in the College of Veterinary Medicine in terms of training our students to really be aware of uh, who they're engaging, how they relate to them, and cultivating you know, a group of followers. Let's start out by explaining something. You probably noticed the cover. It's not a typo. My name has been legally lowercase since I was 16 years old. I tell that story because it tells you a lot about how I view and how I think about leadership. It's a story about compromise, yes. It's also a story about integrity and determining who you are, who your followers are, listening to your followers, and incorporating what your followers need in order for them to continue to follow you. Inclusion and diversity. Who is following me? Vision and translation. Why are they following me? Character and reputation. What kind of leader am I? Yeah, I think it's really interesting, the whole concept of why would somebody follow you? What is it that you're doing to um, to be really to be a leader. Um, you know, it's interesting because Joyce talks about people following, but I've always believed in the concept that often what you do is lead from behind, but you end up in the same place.